Hey guys, it's Brian here. It's been a while, so let's do another shave video. Follow me. Hello guys, I hope you're doing good tonight. It's a nice, cool Florida weather going on here in Florida. It's 40 degrees outside, and I hope you guys are doing good up north, all the snow and everything. Hopefully you guys are staying warm and being safe. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing a shave video I haven't done in a while, and I haven't been on this channel in a while, so it's so good to see you guys. But anyway, got my Tampa Shave Company shirt on. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm planning to be shaving with. And I'm going to start off with the razor. Actually, not that one. <laughs> it's going to be this one. It's going to be my um, Parker 87R turn to open razor, which I have had been soaking in water for a while. Oh, I took a shower. I'm going to be using my Nasset Gillette blade, which has about two uses on it. So this is a very nice razor. It's got a little bit of heft on it. It's got a nice finish, you can tell. And it reminds me of the Gillette British Aristocrat razor, which is my holy grail razor I'm looking for. So this is the reason why I bought this, because this will suffice until I get that razor. But anyway, it's a very nice razor by Parker. Very nice finish. I would say it's probably a smooth, me. Mild to medium, more to the mild side for shaving. So it's a very nice razor. And I'm going to be using my Sterling Soap Bore Brush, which I had soaking for about, about 10 minutes while I was in the shower. So I'm just going to shake off the water on it a little bit. What I usually do also with this, with a brush, I usually like to cut out rub it against my uh, face for a little while, get a little bit of moisture off it before I load my brush. And speaking of loading my brush, I'm going to be using a Tampa Shave Company Barbershop, classic barbershop soap, which is very nice. Very nice soap. Oh, it smells so good. It's one of the best smelling barbershop soaps out there. I can smell a little bit of tobacco, maybe leather, a little bit of amber in this. It's got a complex barbershop scent. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's definitely, definitely a good barbershop scent. And I encourage you guys, if you looking for a good barbershop soap, check out Brian at uh, Tempest Shave Company on his website. Uh, he has his soap right here. This is the old version label, but they have a new version, uh, a new label that just came out a few a few weeks ago. But he sells great soaps. And this is made by K-Shea Works. So they make great soaps too. Anyway, let me go load the brush up here. So I'm going to go ahead and load. And I usually load a bore a little bit longer than a synthetic brush. I usually load a bore probably about 20 seconds, probably 25 seconds. I try to count in my head how long I load the brush for. But I usually load it right here like this. And this is a very nice bore brush by Sterling. I think I got this brush for about, I think I got it for like about $11 at the time when I bought it. It's probably the same price now, so very nice bore brush. So I'm gonna keep loading this sucker right up. Now you can see the lather it's making, very nice lather. And I'm a big fan of K-Shave Works soaps because they always have the best lather, um, best glide, and also the best scent, so. All right, got the brush loaded up. Now I'm getting ready to face lather.
Yeah, it's a very nice sport brush. I got a couple of some mugs that I have. I use regularly. I got a six Samog 610, which is a acrylic handle war brush, and I have a, a 1305, which I got transplanted into a a vintage uh, handle. I've already handled, but this knot is very, very superb. This kind of right now, this knot is probably it's probably better or even exceeds a. Uh, some mug knots that are out there, in my opinion. Wow, look at that. So, look at that lather. Nice lather. All right, guys. Gonna do the first pass against the, with the grain. That's a very nice smooth blade and razor combination right here. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these, these uh, Gillette Nasset blades. They've been around. I think I started using these a about six months ago, I happened to find them on a recommendation from one of the my friends, my friendly wet shaver friends, and they are great blades. I've always been a big Astra fan, but these are just uh, these are just just as good, if not better, than Astras right now. Wow, you hear that feedback? This is about a day and a half of growth on my face. All right, that's the first pass. Go ahead and rinse right here. One second. Oh man, the scent of the soap is so, it's fabulous. I can kind of smell a little bit of coconut in this soap too, also. Very nice scent. Yeah, I had that Parker razor for about, about a year I had it. At the time I bought it from Amazon, I think it was $30 for that razor. But it's got a very nice heft to it, nice weight. It's a nice smooth shaver. I would probably compare it to my uh, Gillette Red Tip as in terms of aggressiveness.
Uh, speaking of red tip, let me show you my red tip compared to the 87R. So this is my red tip razor right here, my Gillette red tip vintage razor, and this is the 87R. As you can tell, they're very similar. The handle saw, handle width is pretty similar, and the weight is a little bit more heavy on this on this Parker, but it's pretty close. And the uh, like I said, the aggression is about the same. So let's get do the second pass, which will be across the grain. I gotta be careful of my neck. I actually have a little bit of uh, irritation in my neck from the last shave I had, which I used a really, um, used a bad razor and blade combination, which causes irritation, I think. So I'm gonna go across the grain on my neck very carefully. You can see a little bit right there, the irritation from the other day. And this is a lot of times the hardest place for me to shave right here along my chin line because I get like a lot of irri uh, irritation right there. So I have to basically kind of glide, not even put any weight on the razor, just kind of glide it across that chin. Well, you shouldn't put any weight, you shouldn't really press down with any razor, but I'm really careful along the jawline there because that's where I get a lot of nicks. Pay attention. And you can still hear that feedback. I don't think you guys can hear that, but I can really hear it with it. And I go across the grain with my razor. So I'm gonna put a little bit more soap right here. Cause I usually like, I usually like to shave outward from my middle of my, below my nose, below the nose, out. Mm. Man, this whew, stuff smells so good. Whew. Man, I wish you guys could smell that. You smell that? <laughs> So I was looking at some of the videos from other shavers out there, like Paul H. I like watching him. I like watching Nick shaves. And I like watching Busta. Busta shaves also. And of course I like watching uh, CDB, which he changed his name recently from Eyelather to I Am CDB. But I just like to watch other videos from other shavers because you can see a lot of, learn new things like technique and learn about how, you know, new razor perform or how new soaps smell like. I know it's, I know it's uh, subjective, but it's interesting to see other people shave, what kind of stuff they use. So this is like the third 
This is the third try now, so look at, look at the lather in the brush still. There's a lot of lather still in this brush. So I can really, if I was really crazy, I can do four, I can have enough, I have enough soap on this brush for four passes if I wanted to. But I'm not gonna be that crazy tonight. I'm just gonna shave normally like I usually do. So I don't know how the British Ristocrat compared to this razor, but this is a very nice razor, a very smooth razor. So I'm hoping by the time I get that one day, it's gonna be as good as this razor, if not even better. So I hope you guys are staying safe, staying out of the cold weather up, up north. I was watching some uh, footage of uh, South Georgia, even Tallahassee, there was snow in Tallahassee. Snow flurries in Tallahassee, go figure. They actually closed part of uh, I-75 and I-10 and, um, you know, some of the interstates up north, North Florida, because of the icing on the bridge. <laughs> I mean, that hasn't happened in Florida for years. It's crazy. I got a little nick right here right now. You can probably see that. See, if you're not careful with this razor, it will bite you. All right, so that's my fun. This is my final. Against the grain pass right here underneath my nose. The thing about wet shaving is everybody's hair growth on their face is different. Most, you know, most a lot, a lot of hair growth is probably similar, but people's faces are different. So, so you got to find a method that fits fits your face the best. One of the things, one of the things I used to do is always used to cut this little cheek right here, with my razor. So when I started doing it, started actually kind of puffing my, puffing my, uh, whatever face I'm shaving on, whatever side I'm shaving on, puff this out, and this would make it smoother, so I wouldn't cut myself on this cheek. But I always have, always had a problem with that. Always have a problem with this too, also with my Adam's apple area. So I always try to kind of. Kind of stiffen my neck and try to flex up so I don't cut that inner area. Well, that was an awesome shave. Fabulous shave. All right, let me show you this brush real quick. And what I usually do is I rinse it out and I try to rinse all the soap out and I also try to grab a towel and try to dry it out this way too. But this is a great, great brush guys. If you can get this brush, I would, I would highly recommend it if you love boar brushes. It's got a nice, pretty nice substantial handle. Pretty heavy, I wouldn't say heavy, but it's 
hefty handle. And the knot is pretty pretty big for a bore knot. I would say it's probably close to like a Omega Omega 49 professional. But it took me about a month to break it in. What I did was I actually soaked it every night for about 30 days. Left it overnight, rinsed it out the next morning, and did it every day. Basically, this knot got broken in after I did that. I mean, you can see, you can sort of see the split ends on the end of the, on the end of the um, hairs. But once it got broken in, this thing is soft, not plenty of backbone, just beautiful feeling on the face. So anyway, I'm gonna follow my up, follow the shape up with some aftershave. Gonna find out what I'm gonna use here. And what am I gonna use? You know what? I'm gonna use what I just use with soap. What? I'm gonna use what soap I just used. Uh, Tempest Shave Company Barbershop Classic Aftershave. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit right here. It smells so beautiful. Beautiful aftershave. The long, long tibia in these uh, case shave works type of shave is, is pretty, pretty long. I would say about three or four hours. All right, guys. Well, that's it for my shave. It's been a while since I did a shave video. I wanted to do one tonight. Just wanted to show you this razor, test it out. Well, actually, I've been using it, but I wanted to test it out on the camera. And I wanted to always want. I always wanted to do a video with this with this soap because this soap is absolutely fabulous soap. So I would highly recommend getting it if you love barbershop scents. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you guys have a safe. And safe went safe rest of the week and stay safe and warm from the cold weather. Take care. Goodbye.